posing in uh, front of my version of the Great Pyramids. <laughs> it's uh, sort of taken on that kind of dimension, the sort of job that's a job in and of itself. Um, I wonder if the people who built the pyramids really cared one way or another that they'd never lived to see the completion of the, uh, the project they had initiated. Or a lot of them wouldn't live, but it seems to be the reason why I'm doing it. Just doing for the sake of it and for the sake of putting my mind into that kind of furrow, I suppose, rut, whatever you want to call it, or into that zone where ideas just seem to spring up spontaneously. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I just like to do this, so there you go. I've inflicted that upon my neighbors to see, although it'll actually look a bit nicer <laughs> once I've painted it and finished it. Trick is said, in my continuing little back and forth, um, need only exists with qualifiers. In other words, I would assume that it's part of a material conditional or something like that. Um, I only need something if I want the end result. So there's no absolute need. Survival isn't really a need. Now that's interesting. Because if we've sort of... For examining survival itself as a need or, or a want, what can be more important than survival? At least in an absolute sense. Um, that's the point, if you ask me. <laughs> it's uh, me who decides what I want. Um, I'm not saying that that's free will. But the desire comes from in here. Schopenhauer and Nietzsche, the will. It doesn't matter if the will is free or not. Does it exist? And what trumps what? The will to life, which is, I guess, an end in itself. Survival is simply, we just want to survive and that's the end of it. We want, you know, or the utilitarian's pleasure principle or whatever, that's it. Or, is it fluid? Do we decide what we want? Or do we determine, rather, what we want? Um, again, I'm not talking free will here. I'm just talking will. Will doesn't have to be free. 